welcome back to another vlog. I am so excited to be filming this video because I am in my favorite city, Paris. I've actually been here for a couple of days. I was on a girl's trip with my friends and we had such good time together and I already miss them a lot. <laughs> they left yesterday and I decided to extend my trip because I really enjoy traveling solo and I thought like what better way to just spend a few days by myself, strolling the city, eating some good food, people watching, and and just, you know, enjoying Paris. The weather today is absolutely beautiful. The sky is clear and the sun is out, but it is actually quite cold. I wasn't expecting it to be this cold during this time in Paris. So I packed some skirts and some light jackets and my ballerinas. I guess I was just hoping that I could start using my summer wardrobe. I'm just so excited to be wearing dresses and my flip-flops, but the weather is not there quite yet. I'm gonna start my day by going to a bakery and buying some croissant and a cappuccino. It is just the best thing ever. And outside my hotel is a bakery and there is always a long line outside. So it just must be a good bakery. So I'm either considering going over there or I could go to a super cute cafe that's also super close to my hotel. It's called Bonjour Jacob. It looked super nice, but I'm just not sure if they sell croissants. So I guess I will just go out and check out both of the places and figure out where I want to have my breakfast. Yesterday I bought a new concealer and I'm very excited to try it out. It's from House Labs. Some of you guys recommended this concealer. Apparently it's not cakey and it's very moisturizing like under the eyes. So I hope I am gonna love it. The consistency feels a bit lighter. It's not very like heavy and cakey. It looks very seamless. And I also bought a new lip liner. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Pillow Talk. And I got it in like the medium color. This is the outfit that I'm gonna wear today. I'm wearing this striped shirt from Opera Sport. And then I'm wearing these suit trousers. And I put on this wrap skirt just to add a bit of more interesting detail. And then I'm wearing my vintage boots that I bought from Facebook Marketplace. I styled my hair a bit with the Dyson and I'm just so obsessed with my new haircut. I am really loving the short hair. I decided to go to the Bonjour Jacob place because it was exactly the vibe that I was looking for. And on top of that, it was like a magazine store. It was just so cool and the coffee was amazing. One thing I've noticed is that the coffee here in Paris is so good. I feel like in Copenhagen, it's kind of a hit or miss if the coffee is gonna be good, but here, the coffee is just always on point. Anyways, I am currently walking in the 10th arrondissement. Oh my God, I'm really trying my best with the French pronunciation. My hotel is in this neighborhood and I also stayed here last time I visited Paris and I really liked this neighborhood. There are so many cute cafes and cool boutiques. So I'm gonna walk around a little bit
I got myself a new pair of sunglasses and they are so cool. I got them for 30 euros and the lady said that they are new. I also asked Helge and he really liked them so I'm assuming that he's gonna want to use them with me. They're probably gonna look so cool on him as well. I also really liked the pink blazer. It fitted so nicely and it was just so elegant. It was made out of silk and it was just so stunning. But the thing is, I'm not really into pink. I don't wear a lot of pinks. So I decided to only buy the glasses. I am trying to figure out what I want to do today. I would love to sit down in a garden, buy some baguette, prosciutto, something to drink, and just sit down and relax. Maybe buy a new book. I actually could go to, I think it's called Shakespeare and Company. Okay, I think that would actually be a pretty good plan. I could take the metro, check if I could find a new book, and then I could walk to the Luxembourg garden and sit down there, maybe go to the supermarket on the way and buy some snacks. The line was so long and I didn't want to bother to wait. So I'm gonna go to the supermarket, buy something to eat. I'm getting quite hungry. And then I'm gonna walk to uh, Luxembourg Garden. Okay guys, it's kind of funny because there are so many bookstores in this neighborhood and I guess it's because of this Shakespeare bookstore that a lot of other bookstores are in the neighborhood but look, three in a row but they are sadly mostly in French I think and it has started raining it didn't say anything about that in the weather forecast I'm a bit annoyed because I'm already here and you don't really want to go have a picnic in the rain but I hope it's gonna stop raining crossing my fingers I was thinking about just going home because it didn't seem like the rain was gonna stop but since I've already bought my food. I just went to the garden and I was going to try and find kind of a spot under a tree but then now there isn't so much rain thankfully. I just put my hair in a bun because it didn't look very nice after the rain. I am so hungry and excited to eat. I've been walking around this garden trying to find the perfect spot. I hope you guys don't find it cringe but I actually ended up sitting in the bench where Helgi and I got in Engaged. And it was very unintentional, but I just wanted to find a beautiful spot underneath a tree. And this one just seemed to be perfect. And it also brings back such a beautiful memory, like truly one of the most special moments in my life. Now it's one and a half years later. I'm here by myself. Helge is in Copenhagen because I was on a girl's trip, but I wish Helge was here with me. Oh. I really miss him but I think it's just so like healthy because Helge and I you know spend a lot of time together because we are working together and we also just really enjoy each other's company so we spend quite a lot of time together but I just think it's you know healthy and good to have some time apart because you've been missing this person for some time. I don't know, I just always love coming back home and you know Helge is always so excited to see me and he cooks us like nice dinner and he's like put on fresh duvet covers because he knows I love it and he just yeah he really treats me like a princess. I just had to buy some macarons and I got pistachio, caramel and coffee flavor and I'm so excited to try them. I'm gonna have some baguette first. Okay, so I bought some iced tea and goat cheese. I found this small packaging, which I think is gonna be quite convenient when I put it on my baguette. And some prosciutto. I hope it's prosciutto, at least it's some type of ham. Then I went to the bakery and picked up a baguette. 
This is the combination. I don't know how to eat it. Mm, this is so good. It honestly doesn't have to be expensive to travel. Mm. You can just go to the supermarket and buy something like this. I haven't really told you guys the story kind of behind the engagement, you know, because Helge and I were celebrating our five year anniversary and we were visiting Paris for the first time. There were a couple of signs before our trip that made me suspect that Helge might be proposing in Paris. And it's quite funny because at that time I had bleached eyebrows and I immediately knew that for this Paris trip, I was gonna dye my eyebrows back to normal. I love bleached eyebrows and everything, but I just, you know, if I was gonna get proposed to, I wanted to be my normal self. And I also did my nails. I'm not gonna get into details, but like the first sign was that I was getting ready and you know, I was in the mirror and I don't know if I was doing my makeup or something. And then all of a sudden Helge came up to me and he was looking at my earrings and like out of the blue, he asked me <laughs> if I was more into gold or silver. And I was like, oh, why is he asking me that? <laughs> And he was a bit awkward, you know, he was like, you know, I think he realized like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have asked her that. I'm very grateful that he asked me because I am really happy that he got me a gold ring. You know, it was very cute that he asked me and I kind of played it cool. I was just like, mm. you know, I told him and even though I wear like silver jewelry all the time, I'm also like in the core, I know I'm a gold girl. And the second thing that made me very suspicious was that my ring that I use on this finger, it's a promise ring that Helge got me a few years back. I wasn't using it at that time and I kept it in my jewelry box. But when I started suspecting, I started looking for that ring. I was like, where is it? And I could not find it. So Helge had taken that ring to the, you know, the jewelry store where he bought the ring to get it like sized so he would know the size of the ring that I would need. It is just so cute to think about it. I am by no means saying that Helge didn't do a good enough job by making it a surprise. I think I'm just really good at, you know, being a federal agent and just like figuring things out. And, you know, even though I suspected it, it was still kind of like a shock when he actually proposed. It was a very surreal feeling. Anyways, I kind of just wanted to tell you guys, since I'm sitting in this spot and it's just bringing back memories. <laughs> my mom and I used to bake these when I was younger. I think my mom did like a class and she bought like the equipment, you know, kind of a squeeze pump and a silicone mattress and stuff. So I really love macaroons. Mm. Wow. She's very green very vibrant <laughs> next up is the caramel one and i think it has salted caramel mm. i'm not a huge fan of caramel i never buy like caramel flavored ice cream but somehow this one is so good especially because it's like salted caramel i am getting quite full but i want to try out the coffee flavor it's really good it has a strong coffee flavor but i think this is my least favorite one I went home after the garden because I was quite cold after the rain and my feet were hurting and I also had to do some work stuff. I'm uploading a new YouTube video tomorrow so I had to make some finishing touches on the YouTube video. But I just got out of the shower and I just ordered Uber Eats. I decided to buy some noodles. I honestly just wanted to stay inside and just chill. I really want to watch Ratatouille. I haven't seen that movie in ages. Being in Paris just really reminds me of Ratatouille. So I think my driver is coming in a few minutes. So I'm gonna run downstairs to pick up my order. Good morning guys. I 
just got ready and I'm wearing this super cute outfit that I wanted to show you. It's this blazer that I thrifted in Copenhagen. I really like that it's fitted and that it's striped. It just feels very elegant. And then I am wearing my favorite pair of white jeans. They are amazing. I love because they are baggy. They are just so chic. I'm gonna show you. They're from a brand called Beaumont. Yeah, I'm ready to head out the door to start my day. And I'm gonna have some breakfast, of course. And I'm actually thinking if I should go to the bakery that I didn't go to yesterday. And then I really want to visit a museum. I have one in mind, but I saw that it's sold out for the day, but I'm still gonna go there and hope for the best. I mean, I assume they also have some tickets for people who show up. The museum is called Musée du Lorangerie. I really want to see the Water Lilies oil painting by Monet. And I'm really hoping that I will be able to get inside even though it's sold out so fingers crossed otherwise I will find another museum. I got my croissant and cappuccino. It's burning hot which I love. <laughs> it's time for a taste test. I feel like the consistency is a bit different. It feels a bit more like the croissants that you buy frozen in the store and you put into the oven because they get a bit like gooey. I feel like it's a bit sweeter, but it still tastes really good. And then I just had to buy this one because it's pistachio flavored. I don't know what you call these actually because everything was in French. I think there's also supposed to be some chocolate in it. It doesn't really taste a lot like pistachio. I can taste the chocolate and then it's just like pastry dough. It's okay. Nothing crazy, maybe? I took the metro to go to the museum and I'm currently walking in the Tuileries garden. It is so beautiful here. kind of like that I don't have a plan and I don't know where I'm gonna have lunch because then you can just get lost in the city and you will always stumble upon a nice restaurant because there is so much good food in Paris so many nice bistros this city is just so beautiful I could walk here every day and just admire all of the buildings oh I'm so in love with the city I found a bistro and I'm sitting outside because the weather is really nice and I'm honestly having a main character moment. I just ordered duck confit and some cola and it wasn't even that expensive actually. And I am so excited because I've never tried duck confit in Paris. I've tried it uh, in Iceland when my dad makes it but I would assume that it's going to taste amazing here. It feels like a very authentic bistro.
the duck confit did not disappoint. This was such a nice bistro and I had a really good quality time with myself. My Paris trip has sadly come to an end. I am heading to the airport in a few hours. I would actually love to like finish my trip on a sweet note. I'm thinking if I should find some ice cream parlor maybe. I got pistachio ice cream with some pistachio crumble and whipped cream. I am struggling a lot to eat this ice cream. It's dripping everywhere. Well, anyways, I think I might end the vlog here. My Uber driver is picking me up in 45 minutes at my hotel. I usually always take the transportation to the airport whenever I'm traveling. But to be honest, I'm a little bit traumatized after my phone got stolen. And also my suitcases are quite heavy. And when I arrived in Paris, it was so difficult to carry them up the stairs in the metros because they don't have an elevator always. So I treated myself with an Uber and I'm happy about it. But I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I need to finish <laughs> my ice cream before it spills on my white jeans. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye.